Okay, so today we're talking about VooPlayer. This is an update on a video that I've done, I don't know, a few months back. But before we get started, I wanna invite you to join me right here in my group at Funnel Hacker Pro. It's fhp.io. A lot of people come in here, we talk about LTDs. You guys can see I already have an LTD up right now. We talk about, you know, different things about getting your business going is not just an LTD group. We talk about marketing and mindset sales videos. I do app reviews, obviously. I do no pitch training, free training in here and list building, cold outreach, bonuses, and all kind of stuff goes on. I give away uh, free apps. I give away money, everything. FHP.io. I can't wait to see you there. Let's talk about VooPlayer. So VooPlayer came out on another LTD group. Um, you guys call her Thelma and Louise. Um, I think her name was Trace, Tracy. So um, it came out on that group or whatever, and I part I purchased the LTD, and I love VooPlayer, right? So I know that I have an LTD called Coolix out right now. So let's not um, let's talk about the pink elephant in the room. Obviously, I, you guys know that I have uh, Coolix up right now. We'll talk about that as well. So if you are concerned about the five gigabyte. Um, storage uh, capacity of VooPlayer. Let's talk about, first of all, that of course he's not going to give you more than what he gave um, the the Tracy's group, right? He, he can't do that. Well, he can, but he's going to piss off a lot of people. Well, look, I just bought, you know, your play, and it was for more money. It was like 99 bucks or something like that, right? I can't, I think it was. So, of course, he's going to say, well, if I give the AbSumo guys 10 gigabytes, then I have to go retro and give these other guys 10 gigabytes. And if I give up these fucking, uh, you know, different um, uh, features in the app, of course, I'm going to have to give it to the guys in AppSumo or the Lifetime. Whatever it goes on, there's always retribution. You know, we're going to get pissed off about something. You got, you you know, the last deal you had out was this and now it's this. So, of course, he's going to just go with five gigabytes. But what I wanted to do is show you what five gigabytes get you, right? So, I've used up half of, of what I have going on. And um, these videos, these are sales videos that I have up. These sales videos... None of these, these are all from like um, YouTube or whatever, but these sales videos are what I have up and I still have half of my space up. These are all done with um, uh, 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 YouTube or whatever. These are done on um, VooPlayer and these right here are all done like on YouTube or something like that. So, I'm really happy with VooPlayer, let me say that. And I'm not even an affiliate for AppSumo nor VooPlayer, okay? Let's make that clear. But I really like VooPlayer. I, I and the, the like the 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 founder is actually in my group. I say no founders in my group, but he asked me could he join cuz he saw that I did a video for him on YouTube before, and so I let him in my group and he doesn't say much. But I like VooPlayer. And he even he's even sees you know, I have Coolix up right for sale right now. All right, so let's just talk about VooPlayer and let's go into the, like the analytics of what's going on here with your analytics and so here you get the same thing the average watch time or whatever and i really like the um like the heat map that they get here on the engagement of a video so this shows how many loads that i had in total how many unique loads how many plays that i got the play rate and the eight percent completion rate like nobody watched the videos but here's what's really cool is it goes down here and it shows you how many people you know, and the person that actually watched all of your videos. Here's what I want Coolix to be, right? And so you can look at all of what's going on on the videos here, okay? So that's what's awesome. And you can see who watched what, like this person, whoever this is, watched 100% of the, the video and then shows where they watched it at. And then they even show the view the viewer details of who the person could be, right? Um and that's awesome. So understanding the metrics, they tell you exactly how these metrics work, which is really cool. And then you can show the next 30 and just keep watching like what your viewers have done. Now let's talk about all of the shit that goes on here. Let's talk about all of the features, right? So how much of these features, how many of these features do I actually use? And that's gonna be a zero. I don't use any of these features. 
I don't use the video funnels, the watch and win. I don't make playlists. I can't because I don't have their enterprise edition or whatever. Um, their uh, audience uh, feature here, the A-B testing. I don't use any of that. The only thing that I do is I use it similar to the way I would use Wistia. And I let's be 100% honest here. I've never seen anyone use the gated videos. I've never seen any, maybe once on a cornball website have I seen someone use the gated videos. I've never seen someone asking for my email in a video. Everywhere from corporate, uh, you know, like let's just say car dealers, I always use that because car dealers come to mind. Like maybe you put your information here to get a new free brochure or whatever. I've never seen a video ask me for information and I never would give a video my information, right? It's just not where you're used to seeing forms. I'm not saying it's not gonna catch on. I'm just telling you that I've never seen anyone utilize that feature. Voo Player certainly didn't make up the whole get your get information from a video player and they won't be the last people to try it, but I've never used it. It's like a gimmick, right? So let's just be real. The one thing that Voo Player does really good that I like though is they allow you to upload videos from YouTube, from Amazon, uh, S3, uh, the S3 buckets, from Vimeo, or you can just upload to them directly, right? And that's really cool. I like their analytics and that works. And so far, they're super fast. Another thing that I like about Voo Player is their API. The API, which allows you to like create custom audiences inside of your CRM, if you know what that is. Um, so inside of my CRM, I'm able to target people that have watched 70% of any one of my videos. Like let's say for instance, I had this, um, I referred deal up uh, before. And, or let's just say Verilu, because I have more loads on that, right? So let's just say I had all of these people watching the Verilu videos and I wanted to target only the people that watched at least 70% of the video with a new ad talking about the lifetime deal. I could totally do that, or if they were already in my CRM and I knew that they watched 70, and that's exactly what I've done, I can also target them with an email saying, hey, look, I know you watched the video, whatever. Automatically, right, totally in my CRM. If they watch 70% of this video, add them to this list, send them out emails, and wait for a response if they purchase or don't purchase. That's what I like about Ver, uh, about Voo Player, right? This is really cool, um, and so far it is. It's turned out to be an app that I don't have any problems with. Um, here, I've had a lot of problems with LTDs. Their API went down. I don't know if it's back up or not now, but it did go down. The one thing that there's a few things that I don't like about Voo Player. Number one, this shit is busy, right? It is really busy. I'm trying to figure out everything that works. Number two is the way they slice and dice the app up if you don't buy their fucking upsells. That really pisses me off. Like, don't like, oh, well, does this work? Does that work? Just don't show it to me. Don't sit there and keep trying to upsell me. It feels really just uncomfortable every time if I try to click on something. So, for instance, if I go here and I want to edit a video, um, you know, then they're like, okay, so these features work. This feature doesn't work. See, show only active features, show beta features, and then like different tools that you may, like this SMS capture. Um, well, no, I can actually use that one, but nobody ever uses that. Let's see here, password protect. I think that's a feature. Yeah, this is an enterprise feature. You need to upgrade. I feel like that's really salesy, right? And if I want to fuck with enterprise, I'll fuck with it. But you always see, you know, get the enterprise, get the enterprise all over the place. And I don't like that. If I want the enterprise feature, I know how to fucking ask you for it. Get it out of my face, man. That right there is irritating. Um, but all of these marketing tools, let me be clear. This is what I was talking about earlier. The SMS capture gate, the password protecting, and the pay-per-view gate and all that stuff. I haven't used or don't want to use any of this. The conversion tracking and things like that, I probably will use that kind of thing, but I use most of the stuff inside of my CRM, but it is nice to use the Facebook pixel code inside of the, the videos uh, to find out who's actually watching, like maybe say your lead magnets and things like that, and to see how much uh, 
how much people have been watching the lead magnet, right? That's really cool because understanding where people are falling off on your videos and why they're falling off on your videos are really important so you can correct that and try to get your videos to do better, right? Get more viewership or whatever. All this other video funnels and watching when and all this so shit, I've never done any of that and I've never seen anybody do it. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm not saying that people won't do it. I'm just telling you that I've never seen anybody to this to this date. Now, let's versus this uh, versus Coolix. Coolix is very raw. Let's just be honest. It is a brand new app. It just came out of beta and they're they're adding things in, right? So, let me talk about what I think the Coolix number one, we get 10 gigabytes. I fought for that because I knew five wasn't enough. And sure enough, that's what everybody's complaining about, about Vu player right now. So you do get 10 gigabytes. Whether it works for YouTube right now is no, it does not work with YouTube right now. They're working on fixing that. And, but I'm not going to sell a, a roadmap. It does not work with YouTube, but you get 10 gigabytes of video and uh, you can use that. Now their analytics they have the heat map uh, feature already done. They just need to like add it into their UI. But this is kicking uh, Vue Player in the pants when you can come in and you can, uh, you know, fix the different widgets and how the analytics work. Overall, the analytics are better on Coolix than they are on uh, Vue Player. And the one thing that you get with Vue Player that you don't, I mean, get with Coolix that you don't get with Vue Player is the interactive catalog and the different things that they're going to be doing with these, what they call templates on how to do different interactive videos with um, the Coolix. And that I feel like could be used chapters, uh, the interactive catalog where people can click to say, I want to see more about this feature. Like they did a test. If you join my group, um, I have it posted where they did a, a test with a jet. And they show the jet as a whole, and then they say, hey, look at the speed of the jet. And it gives you um, analytics. Then it says, if you want to see the interior of the jet, click here. And then it goes to a video of just the interior of the jet, which is really awesome. And I feel like, and I'm just not selling this because I have the LTD. I just feel like I will be using that as far as like, and I really think this will work with e-commerce really good. Um I think that will work better. And also the product proposition. In other words, putting a call to action on the actual video. And I tested that out myself, so I wouldn't just be talking out of the side of my ass. And you can see here that I've had not a ton of click-throughs, but I have almost a 7% click-through rate on my video selling this. People actually click through to see if they can purchase this or they did purchase. What I would like to do is find out, I'd be able to track to find out how many people actually did purchase through clicking this link, but they do click through. That's the most important part. And so Vue Player doesn't offer that, right? So what I wanted to say is Coolix and Vue Player are two different things. They're not the same thing. They do and serve two different purposes. Things that Vue Player does, Coolix doesn't do. Things that Coolix does, Vue Player doesn't do. So you, it's not like kind of a one or the other type of thing. I own both of them, and I, I have the, I, you know, I'm fortunate to do that. So you can use one tool for one thing and use one tool for the other. But as far as like putting up my, uh, I use a lot of videos, obviously, because I do um, classes, um, online training, and things like that. Those things I use Vue Player for. It's worked out for me so far. And what's really cool is I get to use, well, it was doing it. I don't know if it does it anymore, but what was really cool is that I was able to, um, uh, let me see if it still does it or not. What was really cool is I was able to um, look at, let's see if it does it or not. It totally got rid of, uh, it totally got rid of the YouTube uh, branding, but it came back. I think YouTube changed some things so you can see the YouTube in there. Let's see if it did came back or not. Did they fix it? So, but what I thought was really cool was that you could use this in conjunction with YouTube. See, they have the YouTube there now. See, before YouTube was, was, would disappear, but they've figured out how to, you know, stop people from crushing their branding. So YouTube still does come on there. But you can put Vimeo in here, and I believe you won't see the Vimeo branding. Um, Vue Player had it before where you couldn't see this YouTube branding, 
and now you can see it. But they don't have their own VU player uh, branding on here. You can control this button. You can control the looks of the player in general, like how this play button looks. Um, you can control the whole thing in general. It's really cool. So uh, the reason why uh, I'm saying that is because people are complaining that Kulix has the same thing, but it's just some changes that uh, that YouTube have made. Other than that, I really like that you can use also the S3 buckets with this and you still get the awesome analytics with that. And that's what's basically people are trying not to pay for Wistia. Wistia is so expensive. It's a really good product, but is it worth paying 100 bucks a month? And then you still have to pay for anything over like 10 gigabytes or whatever it is or 10 videos or something like that. You still have to pay like 10 cents per gigabyte every Thing you go whatever however it is you still end up paying a bunch of fucking money and for somebody like me that puts up a ton of videos all the time that's going to add up so as far as i'm concerned if you're doing videos and you just like what i've done to show to tell you what i've done i put up short videos like these are pitch videos um sales videos these are like two minutes long or whatever and they are kind of like, like, I don't need to have them up anymore. So I can delete these videos after I've looked at the analytics or whatever. I can delete these videos and upload them back. So I have like maybe um, five to ten short uh, two-minute to three-minute or five-minute videos up. And I've only used half of my five gigabytes. Um, five gigabytes is not a lot for video. These are um, optimized and they've been uh, compressed. And so that's just to give you an, uh, to an idea of how much space that you can use, but that's how I use it. All right, guys, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's been my review of Voo Player. My official thing is it's a thumbs up, man. I really like the product. I don't know about the AbSumo deal, but five gigabytes doesn't seem like a lot of space, and you guys should fight for more. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks a lot.